let's celebrate the biodiversity of the Philippines. Rising from volcanic origin, a paradise of mountainous terrains, fertile soils, and spectacular landscapes. Considered to be one of the few nations that is, in its entirety, both a hotspot and a mega diversity. Philippines! The Philippines Biodiversity provides several ecosystem services. It provides food, water, energy sources, pharmaceuticals, biomass fuels, carbon sequestration and climate regulation, crop pollination, cultural and spiritual inspiration, and ecotourism value. 30% of the population, including 12 to 15 million indigenous peoples, reside in the uplands where most of the forests are located. These forests provide timber and non-timber products totaling $100 million in net benefits yearly. Ecosystem diversity is the variety of different ecosystems within an area. It is not the diversity of a species within an ecosystem. Ecosystem diversity addresses the combined characteristics of biotic and abiotic properties. It is the variation in the ecosystem found in a region or the variation in ecosystems over the whole planet. Here are the different examples of ecosystem in the Philippines. We have aquatic ecosystem, marine ecosystem, and terrestrial ecosystem. Biodiversity can be measured at many different levels including genetic, species, community, and ecosystem. One way to measure biodiversity is to assess a species richness in an ecosystem, which is the total number of distinct species within a local community. In this picture, Alpha diversity is the species diversity present within each forest or grassland patch of the slope. Beta diversity is represented by the species diversity between any two patches and their community. While gamma diversity of the landscape is the species diversity along the entire range of the mountain slope. Species diversity is defined as the number of different species present in an ecosystem and relative abundance of those species. Diversity is greatest when all the species present are equally abundant in the area. There are two constituents of species diversity. The first one is species richness, and the other one is species evenness. So when we talk about species richness, this refers to the number of different species present in an ecosystem. Tropical areas have greater species richness as the environment is conducive for large numbers of species. Moreover, on the other hand, species diversity or species evenness refers to the relative abundance of individuals of each of those species. So if the number of individuals within a species is fairly constant across communities, it is said to have high evenness. And if the number of individuals varies from species to species, it is said to have low evenness. There are also the importance of species diversity because in a healthy ecosystem diverse and balanced number of species exist to maintain the balance of an ecosystem so in an ecosystem all the species depends on each other directly or indirectly so to make more efficient productive and sustainable ecosystem it is important to maintain high species diversity so 
This is because, first, more diverse ecosystem tends to be more productive. Another is greater species richness and productivity makes an ecosystem more sustainable and stable. Another species richness makes an ecosystem able to respond to any catastrophe. Rich diversity is important for the survival of mankind. Healthy diversity has innumerable benefits like nutrients storage and recycling, soil formation and protection from erosion, absorption of harmful gases, and climate stability. Since each species has an important role to play in an ecosystem, it is important to conserve biodiversity because once extinct, we cannot get it back. There are many ways to conserve biodiversity. The first one is to make them as biosphere reserves, national parks, and sanctuaries. Another is to identify the biodiversity hotspots and globally, there are 34 um, identified. So the genetic diversity may refer to the genetic variability within species. Individual species have genes that are the source of their unique features. It is a total number of genetic characteristics in the genetic makeup of a species. We humans, for example, are in the same species but tend to have unique differences. We can easily distinguish through our physical appearances and our fingerprints. In the Philippines, we Filipinos had a complex genetic diversity as a result or as a, as a result of hundreds of years of colonization from different places. The genetic diversity plays a crucial role into the survival among living organisms. It is associated to their population in the ecosystem or their species richness and species identity to adhere the system's vital equilibrium. Babanam ke walam, babanam ke walam, babanam ke walam, babanam ke walam. Biodiversity describes the richness and variety of life on Earth. It is the most complex and important feature of our planet. Without it, life would not sustain. Biodiversity is important for balancing our terrestrial environment and our ecosystem. It provides a variety of ecosystem services. An example of that is the food chain. It provides a variety of food that can be obtained from animals and plants. Another is that it also provides medicinal resources that is important in our healthcare system, especially now that we are in the midst of pandemic. It also provides us an aesthetic value for us to enjoy it. Lastly, it has also an ethical importance, and that is every species has the right to exist. Therefore, it is very important to conserve biodiversity. As of now, our ecosystem is being threatened. Biodiversity is in danger. Let us save it before it's too late. It is our responsibility to protect our ecosystem to maintain life here in our planet. Unity in the needs of diversity. All organisms, great or small, have their own rule in our planet. You and I, the plants, the trees, the animals, all the living things, the soil, the water, the air, the sunlight, all the non-living things are connected to each other 
our difference and our complexity sustains the existence of life here on earth. As a steward and creature gifted with intellect, it is our responsibility to take good care of our planet and all it contains. Tayo man ay iba-iba, tayo naman ay iisa para mapanatili ang bawat uri ng buhay dito sa mundong.